Now, what we're doing is we just installed it and turned it into a dashboard. I've already got it open, so I'm going to teach you how to use this a little bit, and I'm going to show you the full extent of the features that this comes with. So, let's check it out. Your Xbox should load up to this menu. Now, keep in mind, if you've loaded everything correctly and you have your Xbox correctly connected to your internet server, you'll see this. That always means you're connected. Okay. Now, one of the features is your music player. Right now you see a list of options, all of which I will show in a future video. But right now we're just going to stick to the basics. So what you can do is you can go ahead and load up music, play it directly from here, or you can stream your music from a computer directly to your Xbox, saving you space on the Xbox, which is what I'm going to go ahead and show you in a segment or two. Also, you can load up pictures and view them from your Xbox Media Center, which you could not do with your prior operating system. Same with videos. Now you can load your DVDs, movies, and basically any format on the internet and watch them directly off your Xbox, just like you're watching a DVD. One well, of the cooler features is your movie trailers. Go ahead and click on it and we'll take a look. Let's go ahead and check out your trailers. Now it's going to load up some code. And originally when you start up, it's going to update your movies. I'm going to go ahead and update all now. This will take a while. What it's basically doing is taking all the movie trailers from the QuickTime menu off the Apple website and it's loading them up in your Xbox. This will take a while because it's a lot of movie information to load. It'll probably take five to ten minutes. Go ahead and let it load up. After you see an icon here, you'll know that it's all loaded up correctly. <clears throat> so first we'll go ahead and just go through like some of the options you have using the Apple Movie Trailers Player. Go to their newest, which, you can, which we have open here. That's all the newest movie trailers the Apple Movies offers right now. <clears throat> we got exclusives, which they only offer, which is pretty cool. Or you can search by the genre. Action, adventure, comedy, documentary, drama, etc., etc. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go back to our newest. Go down the movie that we want to see a preview for, such as Iron Man. Click on it. And you'll see it start to cache the movie. This should only take a couple of seconds to a minute, and it should start playing. Let's wait and see. We'll go ahead and open 88 minutes. After it caches, it'll start playing right away at DVD quality. This is streaming directly from the website, so it doesn't take up any, sp any more space on your Xbox. All right, if you want to get out of it, go ahead and press your red B button. You'll probably want to watch these, though. Let's go back to our menu. Click the back button. Watch our next segment, which is part two of using your Xbox Media Center.